in the midday sun of Castle Namor, the roof of Regent Trophin College of Applied Sciences gleams with the effect though comes from what is on the roof, a gleaming array of solar panels. Since 2013, this is where the Regent Trophin Education Foundation and its model schools have operated. The main job of the 30 watt panels is to power the entire institution and it stands standing happy home for kids, which is part of the university. This environmental policy. Regent Trophy College of Applied Science at first we were having eight kilowatt power system generating to only one facility that is the library block. So it got to a time because of a number of uh, increasing because of the facilities being added we have now upgraded the system to 30 kilowatt solar power system. So currently the whole institution is being powered by 30 kilowatt Solar system. We need to find ways and means to contribute our quota to the sustainable development goals, which we call the SDGs. So um, here at RECAS, uh, in the Department of Agriculture for Social Change, we try, we endeavor to actually bring results, not to only train our students to just become uh, professionals in society, but to contribute their quota individually to achieving the SDGs. So we have uh, some projects running which uh, has to do with clean energy. Although the university is connected to the national grid, electricity is both expensive and non-renewable. However, the cost of electricity has decreased significantly since the solar panels were installed nine years ago. The panels are part of the university-wide drive to promote clean and renewable energy for sustainable environment. Convert our consumption, each block will paid around 2,000 Ghana CD. And then we have three facilities. So roughly 6,000 to 7,000 Ghana CD a month. And then a year will be 84,000 Ghana CD. If we are not being connected to solar, this is what we'll be spending. I think we have gone through all the contributions Rikas is making towards ensuring um, climate change and also contributing towards green environments. And if I had my way, if out of um, all the universities in the country, we have 50% of the institutions in the country or the universities in the country adopting um, solar power system, I'm very sure that uh, it will contribute largely to encouraging um, green environment and then uh, making use of clean energy. So in effect, uh, we would have been able to reduce um, pollution, noise pollution, water pollution, and then air pollution by a significant percentage if 50% of the universities in the country adopt solar system to. Because it's a renewable energy, it's not an issue of we, you know, destroying the environment. It is actually an, another way of contributing to the SDGs because um, one of the goals is to use clean and efficient energy. Uh, just because we have the solar panel and uh, the solar system, we are able also to irrigate crops, which would have probably been using, let's say, water pumps. And water pumps are known to be uh, powered by either diesel or petrol. And we, we can even see that uh, in our efforts to feed people, we would rather be contributing to uh, climate change. So the panels, as you can see from the app, there are 128 panels, and then each panel is 280 watt, and it's been, it, it, it has been connected in strings. So eight strings, and then one string contains 16 pieces. And then we also have batteries connected as battery banks. And then the batteries, we have 120 batteries. Each voltage is two volts, 696 amps hour. We also have inverters that after uh, storage, the inverter will now convert it to AC, then will power it with the lines so that it will go to individual block here. President of the college and the foundation, Reverend Father Moses Hassan acknowledged a donation from the Global World AG in 2013 to build an 8 kilowatt solar system. 
the stiff tank region trophin arranged for the materials to be sent from Germany to Ghana and the installation was completed by Jack Solar in Tamale. In 2016, expansion plans were put in place to accommodate the growing number of users. A German consultant was hired to assist in the installation of the increased system to a 30 kilowatt. The president used his prize money from winning the education category of the MTN Foundation Heroes of Change in 2017 to fulfill the expansion plans. Solar energy is reliable and it's also affordable. It is reliable when you are connected to solar. There will not be any lights off for you to be stranded somewhere. And then if you are able to afford and then maintain well, it will also help you a lot. Then when you look at the cost, it depends on the kind of system that you are going to build. When you build a system that is effective, that you are using within the range, I think it's also good for you. It will not cause any problems. So I think solar is reliable and affordable. Yes, I think the most important thing that um, the society of Sub-Saharan Africa, Ghana and globally can uh, do to help mitigate against climate change, to adapt against climate change is actually a change of mindset. That is why we have our courses that uh, are related to social change. Uh, in the sense that if you can't use any form of energy efficiently, even with the solar panels that we use, we tell our students, if in their dormitories or their hostels, they need to shut off electrical gadgets when they are not in use. Uh, in the classrooms, if there's no lecture going on, we shut down projectors and things like that. So even we have a plant that uh, produces water to, you know, clean water in the form of sachet water to sustain the community. And in effect, we also make sure that our plants are not too consuming. We use energy efficient uh, electric, electrical gadgets in everything that we do. The demand is enormous since students increasingly demand a reliable power supply. Okay, my name is Matthew Ada Abasagwe. I'm a level 400 student pursuing a bachelor's degree in computer science. One of the best experiences I can say is that you, there is no instance that you see there's no light on campus so you cannot study as a student. I think that is one of the, the biggest advantages I have as a student. Whilst uh, my colleagues in other institutions may cry that oh, there is no power, when it rains, there are poles broken, there are transformer issues and then uh, power is gone off. We don't have such issue. If you want it raining, no matter how high it is, our solar panel is still on because there's much power that is really gotten during the day to power us throughout the night. My name is Asampana Sylvia Talata in level 100 in the basic education department. I've, I think I've, I'm the biggest beneficiary of uh, solar energy. Why am I saying this? I've I've been in Region Trophy Senior High School and since I went there, we've been using solar energy throughout and I've never experienced lights out. And, and I've been there for three good years and I've never seen something like lights out challenges. Power has become so expensive in recent years that the electricity company of Ghana has declared war on 29 private and public organizations, including a university that owe the company 120 million cities. Despite receiving disconnection letters from ECG, some of these institutions owing as much as 45 million have shown no commitment. Because the sun shines all throughout the earth, solar energy can be used anywhere and can be independent of the utility grid since they can be combined with batteries for energy storage, making them cost effective for remote locations. Solar models have no moving parts, which means they are low maintenance and have a long service life of 25 years or more of assured electricity. When we talk of energy, we have different types of energies. We have solar energy, hydro energy, wind energy, and then thermal energy. By Rekas, we are using solar energy. And then the solar energy in Africa here, 
we are blessed to have sun which we normally produce and uh, which normally give us much energy based on the solar. So when you talk of course based on the solar energy, after the initial course, you still have money, you can be able to save a lot of money. So let's compare other universities that are not connected to solar. They are paying more as compared to us. Previously, students at the university had to pay 200 cities per year for electricity. However, with solar panels, it is free for both electricity and water. There is always free light. We don't pay light bill, we don't pay water bill. And I've come to join the university again. And as I came to the university, it's still the same. We still use solar energy and there's no light bill no water bill and I've been benefiting from it a lot and I think I'm the biggest beneficiary of solar energy. It also conserves the environment as we all know that solar energy is a natural source. As a student I've been in the school hostel since I came. That's my four years of stay. I've been in the school hostel. And the school hostel too is powered by the solar system. And one of the advantages I get, I get uh, as a result is that I don't pay light bill as a student. There's no, there's nothing. That, you pay a little bit for maintenance. That one is normal, but not as every month you have to pay light bill. If you don't get, if you don't have money, that means you will not be on par. That's one of the advantages as well. Uh, the school too is on uh, the the bo the borehole system, and that is also powered by the solar. So we get free water also. There's nothing like there's no water flowing because all the time, once there's, the sun is there, and we all know that if not in the whole country, this part of our country, the sun is always there. Even during rainy seasons, the sun is always there. So we get power. So that's uh, my experience and no other advantages I have with the solar system. Yes, yes I must say that um, this earth was inhabited by people before us, and it is ideal for us to keep it because of posterity, we need to keep it the way it is for others to also benefit from it. So with green environment. Because solar power gets its energy from the sun, it does not cause air pollution to the environment. And it also contributes to the environment because it doesn't, it doesn't have any noise during energy production in solar. The university has made significant progress for the time being. The solar panels and the decreased school fees that come with them are assisting in reducing greenhouse gas emissions and mitigating climate change, which is vital for humans, wildlife, and ecosystems. A report by Mohamed Nourudin.